Assalamualaikum, we are from Group 3, will evaluate on Proton Holding Berhad Company. Our group consists of 6 members in succeeding our project. The following slides will be presented by our member. Hi, Assalamualaikum, my name is Hamzah Sabin Kanapi. Before we go any further, let me talk about the executive summary for this presentation. This presentation serves as a detailed review and strategic plan for Proton Holding Berhad, a prominent player in the automotive industry. It comprises an extensive examinations of the company's background, SWOT analysis, strategy formulations, framework, achievement, challenges, and the, strate the strategic implementations. The study delves into five chapters beginning with chapter one, providing an overview of Proton Holding Berhad history featuring eight subtopics for deeper insight. Chapter two, explore the company's review, including the IFE, EFE matrix, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. In Chapter 3, the strategic plan unfolds employing space and BCG matrix methods to identify the three most promising strategy. Chapter 4 details the strategic implementations and additional, uh, additional tactic linked to the chosen strategy. Finally, Chapter 5, the conclusions and suggestions. Chapter emphasizes the significance and objective of Proton Holding Berhad's new project. The strategies proposed in this report aim to fortify Proton market share and facilitate expansions into emerging territories, fostering sustained growth and competitive edge. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Azira Nabila Binti Ramli and I'll be delving into the rich history and foundational elements that have shaped Proton Holding Berhad, a leading automotive entity based in Malaysia. Let's embark on Proton's historical journey, founded in 1983 under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. Proton emerged as a beacon of Malaysia's industrial inspiration. Just two years later, in 1985, the iconic Proton Saga debuted, symbolizing the affordability, reliability, and national pride. Overcoming challenges and fogging strategies alliance, Proton transitioned into the 2000s, expanding its global footprint and solidifying its position in the competitive automotive landscape. Vision and Vision Central to Proton ethos as its Vision and Mission, Proton and Vision leading as the foremost automotive innovators dedicated to enriching life through advanced technology and value-driven offering. Complementing this vision, Proton's mission emphasizes customer satisfaction, national pride, global expansion, and sustainability, encapsulating its commitment and excellence, integrity, and responsible growth. Organizational culture and values Proton organizational culture is encoded in core values that resonate with innovations, customer centricity, ethical conduct, collaboration, national allegiance, excellence, and environmental responsibility. This harmonious blend underscores Proton's identity, shaping its operational ethos, stakeholder relationship, and strategy initiative in forcing its leadership in automotive industry. Goals and objective. Proton strategic inspirations are encapsulated in its multifaceted objective. This encompasses innovative product development, broadening market reach, prioritizing customer experience, streamlining operations, embracing sustainability, empowering its workforce, and driving financial strength. Together, these goals epitomize Proton's holistic approach ensuring long-term competitiveness growth and stakeholders value creations both of directors individuals steering proton strategic direction this is the extreme members of proton board of directors their collective expertise visions and leaderships guide proton strategic initiative fostering innovation growth and sustainability hey there everyone my name is ahmad ismail i think so now I will explain about SWOT analysis. From this analysis, we all explore Proton Holding Berhad's strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and also the potential threat they navigate in this ever evolving industry. Firstly, let's take a look to their strength. Firstly, solid brand foundation. Proton has built an evolving brand present in Malaysia and select market, could bring trust and loyalty among customers. Moreover, safety pioneers. 
Kunaisu the search in demand for advanced safety tester protect like the lead by integrating cutting edge safety technology into their vehicle. Next, efficiency in operation. Proton efficiency supply chain management not only cut operational costs but also ensure a reliable stream of supply, giving them a competitive edge. Next, government backing. With the strong government support and strategic partnership, Proton stands tall, benefiting from a nurturing environment for growth and innovation. Moreover, it has brand recognition. Proton enjoy a robust brand reputation and recognition making them a profitable player in the targeted market. Moreover, quality matter. From manufacturing to strict quality control processes, Proton emphasize high quality standard, contribute to reliability and customer certification. Next, innovation drive. By investing in research and development, Proton stay ahead, improving vehicle technology safety feature and a self full efficiency. Skills workforce. Proton equipment to employ training, foster innovation, and continually enhance the skill set of its workforce. Market feasibility. Proton effective marketing strategy, including digital campaign, enhance market visibility and customer engagement. Cost efficiency. Proton cost efficiency production and pricing strategy position that favorable ensuring compatible net without compromising quality. Now, let's take a look at Proton weaknesses. Firstly, is supplier dependency. Proton dependency on a few supplier poses a risk, urging them to diversify for more recent supply chains. Next is global reach. Limited global reach presence compared to counterpart highlight a need for strategic international expansion. Next is workforce challenge. Issue with the employee skill and talent retention need addressing for sustainable innovation and operational excellence. Marketing hardness. Weaknesses in marketing and promotion strategy could impact brand awareness and sales calling for strategic adjustment. Quality control. Quality concern. Manufacturing and quality control issue require continued investment to maintain customer trust. Financial management. Proton must manage financial decisions, judicing to ensure stability and sustainability. R&D investment. Limited investment in research and development compared to global competitive potential, hiring innovation, price co competitiveness, change in price, pricing, competitiveness, demand, exploring of cost, comp optimization, measuring, past quality issue. Rectifying past quality issue is provided for rebuilding and portraying the brand reputation. Cost challenges, proton cost challenges need strategy approach to remain competitive against more efficiency rival. Now, let's explore exciting opportunity on Proton Horizontal. Firstly, eco-friendly wave. Riding the wave of economy-friendly car, Proton can meet the growing demand for environmental-friendly vehicle. Next, safety focus. The increasing interest in advanced safety feature of Proton and opportunity to shine with cutting technology. Culture adaptation. Turning product to the risk culture prevent and strength for the global principle and connection with the customer. Strategic collaboration, forming strategic partnership with other automotive manufacturers, open avenue for innovation and technology integration. Economic advantages, reduce tax and tariff provide proton cost advantages, boosting competitiveness. Stable political climate, a stable political climate set the stage for long term planning and strategic investment. Middle class surge, the growing middle class population in emerging market present an opportunity for proton to tap into new customer segment. Sustainability embrace. Shifting customer preference towards sustainable vehicle allow Proton to pass into commitment to eco friendly vehicle. Electrical vehicle market. The global surge into demand for electric vehicle create an opportunity moment for export and export electric Safety standard present. The rising present on safety standard allow Proton to highlight the commitment to advanced safety vision. Finally, let's address the trade proton navigate on this adventure watch. Firstly, shifting social attitude. Involving perspective on car ownership require proton to align with emerging preferences. Urban mobility shift, changing customer preference towards share mobility and public purpose demand adapting from proton. Competitive landscape. Facing strong competition, proton must continue in develop and different itself. Culture perception. How Proton brand is perceptive in various culture influence market acceptance and sales. Regulated change. 
Change in safety standards and regulation may require important to make costly modifications to their vehicle. Economic uncertainties. Economic downturn pose a threat demand agreed financial management and innovative pricing strategy. Global global competitiveness. Economic challenges can potentially affect proton competitiveness global necessity research and business strategy. Political instability. Political uncertainties and regulatory change in key market pose a threat to proton operation. Technology dynamic. Rapid change in technology require proton to stay ahead, investing significant in research and development. Environment concern. The global emphasis and environment sustainability necessity proton investment in eco friendly technology. Assalamualaikum, my name is Mama Suhari bin Suhari and I will elaborate more starting on FA metrics. It gives an assessment of a company's internal strength and weaknesses. Proton internal strength like it focuses on advanced safety features and R&D investment, give it a competitive edge. However, weaknesses like limited global reach, creating challenges and fast quality issues hold in back. While its overall IFB score is 2.95, Proton can further strengthen its position by leveraging its strengths through collaboration and diversification and addressing its weaknesses by expanding its global presence, improving its pricing strategy, and focusing on quality and sustainability. Let's move on on EFA metrics whereby it's evaluate of company external opportunities and threats. Proton EFV score rebuilds both opportunities and threats. Eco-friendly cars, booming middle class, and electric vehicle demand offer lucrative opportunities which scores from 0.12 until 0.28 but shifting preferences towards urban mobility and political instability pose major threats with scoring from 0.18 until 0.28 to thrive proton must leverage its strengths embrace ecotech target new markets and develop evs all while navigating changing trends and political complexities this proactive approach will solidify its features and the dynamic automotive landscape. Next, let's talk about on CPM where it scored 3.37. It Ocean Pro Dua for score 3.18 and Mazda scored 3.35 in crucial areas like advertising, market penetration, loyalty, and product quality. Affordable cars, advanced safety features, and innovation fuel proton success. Strong profitability for the empowers investment in investing upgrades, acquisition, and tech development. While Produa boasts top management and Mazda excels in employee dedication, they fall short of Proton's overall dominance. To maintain their age, all automakers must constantly adapt to evolving consumer needs in a dynamic industry. Proton Holdings rooted in Malaysia's automotive evolution embodies resilience and innovation. From the inception of the saga in 1983, Malaysia's first national car, to navigating economic challenges and global competition, Proton has showcased adaptability and commitment to industrial progress. Strategic alliance, including one with Mitsubishi Motors, fuel engineering expertise, leading to diversified product lines like the responsive X70. In recent years, Proton's remarkable comeback elevated it to Malaysia's second largest automaker and top automobile exporter, emphasizing global aspirations. Besides that, collaborating with GD Holding Group marked a crucial moment, providing access to cutting edge technology and contributing to Proton's journey towards future mobility. The establishment of an RD center underscores the commitment to internal innovation. Proton's achievements, including entries in the Malaysia Book of Records and Cast of Malaysia Award, reflect its dedication to excellence. Beyond market dominance, the brand story is one of the technological advancement and a relentless pursuit of greatness. Proton faced early challenges due to reliance on legacy technology from Mitsubishi Motors, leading to poor quality early models that damaged the brand's reputation. Dependency on government intervention affected strategic decisions and limited flexibility. In a competitive environment dominated by multinational brands, Proton struggled to gain market share, facing obstacles in global expansion, including distribution issues and inappropriate pricing. 
The company also struggled with adapting to shifting consumer preferences towards SUVs and electric vehicles. Plus, problems with financial caused by government helping out and trying to grow too fast made it harder for Proton to invest in important things like research, not using factories enough, and changing how the company is run also made it shaky, making it tough to stick to good and steady plans. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will explain about Proton Holdings Berhad Space Matrix. The Space Matrix is a strategic management tool that helps analyze and determine the competitive position of a company in the market. The four orientation consider is financial position FP, stability position SP, competitive position CP, and industry position IP. After run the data for the Proton Holdings Berhad, it's classified as aggressive in the space matrix, indicating a robust competitive standing and favorable conditions to capitalize on strategic opportunities. Proton utilized aggressive strategy, employing market penetration, market development, and product development to boost growth and maintain a competitive edge. Through product development, the company enhanced its vehicle lineup, expand into new markets or demographic for market development, and increase sales in existing market with competitive pricing and effective marketing for market penetration. These strategies collectively fortify Proton Berhad's market presence, attract new customers, and foster growth in the automotive industry. Next, for the BCG metrics of Proton Berhad, the main division which is manufacturing, research and development, distribution and sales, aftermarket, and international business, all fall within the star squadron of the BCG metrics, indicating that these segments are high growth with substantial market shares. This positioning underscores their significant contribution to Proton's success, suggesting promising futures. In accordance with the BCG matrix, this division should receive continued investment to solidify their position, leveraging growth, profit, and maintaining market leadership. After position in the star quadrant of the BCG matrix, three best strategies are product development, market development, and market penetration, aligned strategically with objectives. Product development ensure competitiveness. Market development explores new regions and market penetration strengthens market share. Proton Berhad is positioned for sustained growth and dominance by maximizing star divisions in dynamic market. Last, the QSPM, Quantitative Strategic Planning Matrix, is a strategic management tool that helps organizations evaluate and prioritize different strategic alternatives based on various internal and external factors by using SWOT analysis. The scoring system rate is 0 to 4, which 0 is not attractive to 4 highly attractive. After run the metrics of the three best strategies for Proton, the highest total attractiveness score TAS is market penetration with 5.75. This emphasizes that focusing in market penetration is more attractive than other strategy, suggesting that concentrating on boosting market share and sales for current product could be a more favorable strategic move. Considering the factor assessed in the QSPM, that's all from me. Let's move to the next presenter. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nusha Kajamius, and I will present about the strategic implementation. Strategic implementation is the practical process of putting a chosen strategy into action. It's involved translating high-level goals into specific tasks, allocating resources, and ensuring alignment across the organization. Successful implementation requires effective leadership, communication, and continuous monitoring. There are three strategic implementations. 
but I will explain two of it. First strategy is market development. Product market development strategy revolves around expanding its market presence, both within Malaysia and internationally. To implement this, Proton conduct thorough market research to identify potential region for growth. Within Malaysia, the company aims to establish a stronger foothold by opening new dealerships, enhancing distribution network, and tailoring market strategy to specific regions. Internationally, Proton pursues strategic partnership and direct market entry to establish itself in new market and adapting its product to align with local preferences. On the production development side, Proton focuses on product development to stay competitive and meet evolving consumer needs. This involves substantial investment in research and development to integrate cutting-edge features into its vehicles. The company adapts existing model to suit the preferences of different market and introduce new features such as safety enhancement and connectivity innovation. In response to global shift towards sustainability, Proton commit to eco-friendly initiative by investing in, in technology like hybrid or electric vehicles, demonstrating a dedication to both innovation and environmental responsibility. Next, market penetrations. Market penetrations for Proton Holding Berhad involve the deliberate executions of initiative aimed at increasing the company's market share within its existing market segment. This strategic approach encompasses the, the, the deployment of specific techniques such as product line expansions, competitive pricing strategy, distribution channel enhancement, targeted market and promotions activities, and the implement implementations of customer loyalty program. By expanding its product offering, Proton can attract new customers and encourage existing ones to upgrade, ultimately increasing its market share. Additionally, the use of competitive pricing strategy can make Proton vehicle more ac accessible and appealing to potential buyers. Contributing to increased market penetrations, moreover, the enhancement of distribution channel and the implementation of targeted targeted market campaign can improve brand visibility and attract a broader customer base. Furthermore, the implementation of customer loyalty program can foster long-term relationship with existing customer, encourage repeat purchase, and enhancing customer satisfactions. Overall, strategic implementations using market penetrations enable Proton Holding Berhad to, strength, to strengthen its competitive position. In conclusion, Proton strategically plan for growth through three key approaches, market penetration, market development, and product development. To deepen its market share, Proton focus on understanding and serving the needs of existing consumer better, fostering loyalty and sustainable growth. Simultaneously, the company expands globally through market development, entering new regions and forming partnerships to navigate diverse markets. Proton commitment to product development ensures it stays at the forefront of innovation, customizing car to match consumer preferences and embracing eco-friendly initiatives. This comprehensive strategy shows Proton adaptability and dedication to excellence in the competitive automotive landscape. As we dive into the conclusions and recommendations for Proton Holding Berhad, let's first understand the overarching expectations set for its new strategies. First is enhanced market penetrations. First up, Proton want to reach more customers in the places they already operate. They plan to do this by advertising more of offering competitive prices and making customers happier. Geographic Expansions and Strategy Alliance Proton also wants to expand to new places. They might team up with other companies or experts in a new area to help them grow and understand local needs better. Innovative Product Development Proton aims to create new and improved products. This means they focus on adding advanced features to the, to the vehicles, making them more personalized and using eco-friendly method. Customer-centric approach. 
Proton cares about its customers. They plan to listen more to what customers want, provide better service, and keep customers coming back by meeting their needs. Next is innovations and sustainability. Proton wants to be a leader in innovations and care for the environment. They'll focus on using sustainable methods, creating energy efficient vehicles, and staying ahead with the new technologies. For strategy, Recommendations of strategies based on our analysis use specific marketing for different regions next is partner with the right companies to grow in a new places invest in new technologies and research keep customer happy by improving their ex experience be eco-friendly in everything you do use the internet more to promote their brands offer a variety of product to meet the different customers needs and for conclusion, to, to wrap up, Pro, Proton Holding Berhad has some clear goals. They want to grow what they are, expand to new places, innovate with the product, keep customers at the center, and be sustainable. They, this plan will help them succeed and stand out in the car industry. Thank you for listening.